Hello everyone and welcome to the video. Today we'll be taking a quick look at the armor that Alice wears in Alice in Wonderland. Now, all in all, I like to say this is not bad. It's one of the better suits of female armor that I've seen in fantasy. Doesn't mean I have any I don't have any complaints, however. First I take a general look at armor. It's it's generally not bad, the coverage is decent, although not as good as it looks on first glance. The Kiros itself is something I actually very like, I love the shape of it. It follows the typical, you know, bell-shaped design somewhat. Of course it does more conform to the female body, you know, especially in the, more ch in the chest area, but still follows the more rounded, bell-shaped look in traditional European cuirasses, so, you know, it will deflect blows rather than just absorb them, that's something I quite like. There's also, you know, proper spalders, you know, there's decent shoulder protection, definitely. The arms, you know, they're not as protected as they look like on first glance. There is plate on the forearm, and there is a plate on the hand, but there's no segmented protection for the hands, it's not actually gauntlets nor is the majority of the arm covered with metal. It looks like just the top of the arm is covered by some sort of canvas that's been spray painted to look like metal. It doesn't look like any sort of metal armor, it's definitely not male. And the lower part looks like um, generally like leather that's been spray painted to look like metal. That's something I don't like. Um, it's not actual metal. It, it's not like there's no metal protection for the arms, but it's not as protected as it looks like. That's actually just spray painting things metal to make them look metal, isn't? You know, it's not the only arms on this armor that do this. Um, now, however, let's go back to the cuirass for a moment. I generally said I like it. However, I have one complaint about it. It's too damn long. Typically, medieval cuirasses they stopped at about the navel area. That's because, you know, if you had a full cuirass from shoulders to waist, and if you tried to lean down, well, you just couldn't lean down, you couldn't do that. Because, well, your body, your body flexes, and metal does not. So you had the cuirass stop at about your navel, and you had another plate that covered your stomach attached to it. And so it was sort of like segmented, and it allowed you more flexibility. That's one thing. Um, another thing I would like to mention is the legs. She does appear to have demi-greave, demi-greaves covering the majority of her shins. And at first I thought she was wearing sabatons, she's not wearing sabatons. Um, she has these sort of leather boots that have been spray painted to look like metal, and a small plate that looks like the topmost piece of a sabaton on top, so not actual sabatons, which was quite disappointing. Um, her waist is also generally protected, and her waist and her upper thighs are protected by what appears to be scale armor. Not necessarily anything wrong with that, it's decent, it does provide flexibility. Um, she also doesn't have a helmet, she doesn't have a helmet nor proper uh, neck protection, which is a huge mistake, since that's generally the most vulnerable part of the human body. Now, there's one other thing, now, the armor, it's, it's not bad. It could use a lot of underlying padding, since it doesn't have any underlying padding, it could use additional head protection, and it could use less things that have been spray painted to look like metal and more actual metal, but it's not the worst thing I've ever seen, it's actually decent compared to other female armor I've seen. Her sword appears to be a long sword, and there are two things that really piss me off about it. First, the guard flows backwards. Why? The guard is there to block, when you're parrying, it's there to block your opponent in swords. And if it bends backwards, then the, your opponent's sword will just slide off into you. What's the point of the guard then, it doesn't, if it doesn't actually block opponents? Oh, uh, that's the worst guard I've ever seen. The other thing I don't like about the sword is just the straight up retarded fuller. It's not an actual fuller, it looks like just holes that have been drilled into the sword, like Ah, oh, it's why not have a proper fuller? It's really annoying me. It looks weird. But in general, there are mistakes. It needs more padding, less things spray painted, head protection, a non retorted sword. It's not bad. It's not as good as it could be, but it's not bad. 